players on. Well, the judge denied the TRO, um, and we are obviously very disappointed in his decision. Uh, we're going to continue this fight against what we consider is fraudulent in, uh, in uh, recruiting practices by the military. Uh, if the military doesn't have to honor its commitments, then it, it will lead to eventually to people not joining the military because they feel they can't trust what the military says. Well, what the judge essentially has now effectively ruled is that there is no such thing as an enlistment contract for a term of service. If, you, if this contract did not identify a term of service, then no military contract does. And whenever you join the military now, you join for life. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Qualls has no statement at this point. He is uh, on his way back to Arkansas to go back to Iraq. This decision says they can keep them forever. And they're going to extend and extend. And what they've been doing over in Iraq now is extending um, people over there and giving them vague times when they they're coming back. Do you and think that's, and you that's, that's happening, and it's unbelievable. Oh. It's never happened before. You talked about a draft. Is there a fundamental difference? Because Mr. Qualls, even if he was misled, he did walk into the office and sign his name. That's involuntary servitude. He's just become a slave. The military soldiers have become okay. slaves. They are now there forever, according to, to what the judge is ruling in this case, is that the military, once you're in the military, we don't ever have to let you out. You can die. That's the way you get out. Or you can get injured or something like that. But that's the only way you can get out. I'm watching you back. Take care. Thank you.